So one, it's, um, it's great to be back. You know, I was able to go get the vaccinations. Um, and, and with that being said, I, I felt more comfortable um, coming back. And of course, still wearing the mask, but it's, uh, it's definitely way better than uh, being on the telephone and also having to deal with the echo that you can hear yourself speak. So I'm, I'm glad I'm here. Um, no slight on staff. They do an amazing job trying to work with the engineers. I, I don't want to get a glaring look from uh, Ms. Casas. So we, um, you know, voter turnout, uh, disenfranchisement. I think that we need to look at this in a, in a bigger picture here where um, in this last election, we had record turnout for voters. Um, of course, you always want more people to vote, obviously, but um, record numbers. So th to me, I'm a data person. I want to see the data that proves there's some sort of um, problem with, with people voting. And I'm not talking about the ability to get to the polls because, you know, there's public transportation, there's friends, there's family. And if you really want to vote, you're going to get there. Um, so that's that. Now, I, um, this, this bill, it, it is beyond troubling to me. Um, you know, I, I, I have a huge problem with how it was presented. I've said it again, said it before. I'm going to say it again. Um, and anybody that's a, a scholar of history uh, can look back. And, and one of the biggest things I always see is, and I, and I, I love, love this book, was Malcolm X. And I, refer, I, I totally, 100%, look at Delegate Crosby like this, like Malcolm X said in his book and many of his speeches at this point, pandering um, and pretending that he is a friend. Um, the liberal is the way I look at it. Um, for those of you that are scholars, you can go ahead and look it up. I'm not going to read the entire portion and, and, and the context that goes with it. Um, the fact that he would refer to the rest of our county and the people that live here as racists is um, you know, beyond, beyond me. I, I know some of the, the most kind-hearted people that, that are in this county that work together all the time. I, I am truly disappointed in that, and it is shameful on his behalf. Shameful. Um, wow. Um, um, beyond that, I, um, I do want to send my condolences to the Rigels, to the Lawrences, to the Copsies. Um, you know, that was, it's hard to take a loss, uh, and, you know, We've known all of these people through the installations, through elections, through uh, events. It, it, you're there. It feels like they're a part of your family. So these losses do hit um, hit home for some of us. Uh, and uh, you know, Timmy was hilarious, um, and he would give me a hard time all the time, and I loved it. <laughs> and it, it is a big loss for our community. So, uh, you know, my condolences to all of their families. And, uh, it, you know, if there's anything you need, please reach out. Thank you.